finding ways to win over and over again. It is a feat Reds fans are not taken for granted. That's right. They're enjoying every second of a ride that's caught the attention of the entire country. WLWT News Live's Todd Dykes is live at Great American Ballpark with more on what fans are saying about America's team, Todd, as they've been called here lately. Yeah. Oh, we love it, Ashley and Mike. You know, that's a description Reds players don't mind at all because they say they play the game the right way. And boy, it seems entirely fitting to call the Reds America's team because America loves a winner. And that's all the Reds have been doing of late, winning 11 games in a row. Go Reds! Go Reds! Go Reds! This is what Reds history in the making looks and sounds like. 11 straight, let's go! Great, great win today, 11 in a row. It's awesome. It's great to have winning baseball in Cincinnati, Ohio again, isn't it? You're loving this. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Go yeah. Reds, baby. Woo! Woo! More than 23,000 fans descended on Great American Ballpark for the kind of midweek day game that, in the recent past, saw much smaller crowds. I mean, look at this. I, I don't remember the last time I've seen 20,000 people Wednesday. on a Wednesday day game. Uh, with this Abbott is that pitching. special? I mean, it's incredible. I mean, that's amazing for a day game. The Reds are obviously coming back. They got a bunch of young kids in there playing well, 11 in a row. I haven't seen yeah, that in almost 70 Alley years. Gallagher. Before the game, some fans seemed to know the Reds would continue their winning ways. We're America's team. We can keep it going. We can definitely keep it going. You're drinking the Jonathan India Kool-Aid. I am indeed. <laughs> right. Now we just need to keep it up so we can get to where we going. I can't even think of the name of it now. Where we World going? Series. Thank you. So we're at the World Series and win the World Series. I was going to say Super Bowl. Right. I'm ready for football too. For a lot of fans, family memories are making the Reds on the field success especially sweet. My parents got married on the night the Reds won uh, the World Series in 1990, uh, and I have waited all my life for the Reds to uh, turn things around. So my dad has wanted his kids to see it for a long time. Boy, that great sentiment there. You know, this is such a fun city when our sports teams do well. We all experienced that with the Bengals and now having a chance to ride this uh, train with the Reds and a lot of newcomers to Cincinnati. This is their first time. They're seeing the city really come alive. Live out here at the banks in front of the Holy Grail, fans still savoring every moment of this afternoon's big victory. Uh, looking ahead to Friday night because they'll take on the Braves and try to make it 12 straight. We're now reporting live, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Todd, size matters when it comes to attendance, especially when you're talking about a, a market like Cincinnati. 1235 start on a Wednesday and 23 grand in the stands. Yeah, Mike, you know, it's double the number of uh, fans who came to see similar day games earlier this season. Uh, the Reds lost one of those games early in the season to the Tampa Bay Rays in front of a crowd of about 10,000. They won the other contest against the Texas Rangers, similar size crowd around 10,000. So today, Reds announcing attendance at 26 or 23,637 people. It really is a great sign for a young team that is just loaded with potential. And they're showing it now, Mike and Ashley, for sure. All right, Todd Dykes live at GABP. By the way, the Brewers lost today, so the Reds have a one and a half game lead. They are in first place. Very cool.